Painting a room is a quick DIY project that can enhance the look and feel of your home. When finishing a basement or a large area where everything is covered, a paint sprayer is the best way to finish your project fast. For larger finished rooms and vaulted ceilings, using a pressure roller is much easier than using a standard roller. Since we'll be painting the walls of this previously finished area, we'll be using a pressure roller attached to a paint sprayer. This may look like an ordinary roller on a pole, but this pole actually attaches to the gun of your paint sprayer. You use this to paint the walls the same as a standard roller, but instead of dipping the roller into a paint tray, you simply pull the trigger to get more paint. This tool makes the job much faster, cleaner, and will give you a more consistent finish. Here's what you'll need. First thing is to move everything out of the room or to the center and cover with tarps or plastic. Cover the floor with drop cloths. Shut off power to the room and remove all cover plates on outlets and switches. Then cover with tape. If there are any holes in the walls, apply some spackle. When it's dry, sand the surface, then lightly wipe down the walls with a damp rag. Before using the pressure roller, go around the room with a brush and cut in the top and bottom of the walls and even around the windows, outlets, and light switches. Be sure to read all instructions and safety warnings. Don't forget eye protection. With your sprayer primed and ready to go, let's attach the pressure roller. Remove the guard and spray tip from the gun and attach the 45 degree angle to the gun using a wrench. Thread the pressure roller attachment to the 45 degree angle Align the roller with the gun and tighten with a wrench. When using a pressure roller, turn the pressure to the lowest setting where the sprayer turns on when the gun trigger is pulled. Now we'll need to get the paint to the roller. Pull the trigger and roll on the surface. You'll see the paint come through the perforated roller cover. Continue to hold the trigger open and roll on the wall until the paint is evenly distributed on the roller cover. Then release the gun trigger and only pull the trigger when you need to apply more paint to the roller cover. You're now ready to paint. Starting at one end of the wall, roll in a W or M motion. Cover about four feet of space and then lightly roll over the area in a vertical motion to blend the roller strokes. Squeeze the trigger when you need more paint. When the roller has been filled with paint, Release the trigger to blend the paint into an even coat on your wall. Continue until all the walls are painted. You'll be done in a fraction of the time it would have taken with a standard roller because you literally have a supply of paint at your fingertips. When the paint is dry, carefully remove all the tape, film, and coverings, and reinstall the outlet and switch plates. Move in your furniture and enjoy your new room. On to the next project.